What's up everybody? We are Popped Out Disc Golf and today we're doing something super fun. We are comparing the Mindbender to the Hex. So with the recent news, if you haven't heard... <laughs> what are you doing? Just kidding. Uh, Simon Lazat went to uh, MVP Discs and uh, we are going to compare the two because we can. And he said they're the same. And I'm very curious to see if they're the same. I have here a slightly beaten in mind bender and a slightly beaten in hex. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a couple holes, maybe six or seven or eight, um, and we're just gonna throw them and whatever one's closest gets a point. Mind bender's closest gets a point, CTP point. This one, if, yeah, you get the game, it's not that one. Um, I just don't wanna putt with these things because they're not putters and I don't like putting with mid ranges. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's go over to the holes. So we picked a, a couple holes that um, will give us different, some different shots, some different finishes. So I'll try to like give good, a good analysis in, in that way. So hole one is a just a straight shot. You got to keep it low though. So let's see which one first. Justice, shoot. Right or left? Right. My right. My right. Your right is this one. Yep. Okay. My men are first. That's pretty good. A little I short. Love, I love the mind bender, if I'm being honest. You haven't thrown the hex much, have you? Have Not you? much. So we're. I'm that going, is my hex. I'm going completely unbiased. Unbiased. Well, that is a point for the mind bender. A little higher, a little too high on the hex, but I mean, that's a point for the mind bender. And I understand the confusion because I'm throwing disc mania, I'm throwing my uh, MVP, and I'm wearing a disc craft hoodie. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's cold. This is all I got. This is all that was clean. Next hole is a shorter, short one still, and it's to the left. So I, what I'm going to try to do with these is put them on hyzer and see how they react to like a flip up. So, let's do that. That's not bad. That might have looked bad, but that's not bad up there. That's fine. Oh, oh, much flip, much flippier. Yeah, that thing like. Yeah. I think that's a point for the hex. I think so. The hex went left. Mine men are flipped up and went straight, which is a good thing. I like that, but they're not exactly the same. I don't know. Not for me. So point for the hex, significantly closer to the basket. This next hole is actually a really fun one. I love throwing mid-range on this hole because I just have to throw it hard and straight. So that's what I'm going to do. Mind bender first, and should I just try to throw them flat? I think what these do yeah. is they're going to, I'm gonna hit them flat and they're gonna turn. That's what I would love for these to do. So I'm gonna hit it flat on the left side of the basket and bring it into the right. That's what I'm gonna try to do. Mind bender first. That isn't what you did. I don't know. Did I, you? I think I hit that flat-ish. It's maybe a little bit on Anheuser, but... Not high enough. Yeah. Well, that... That's human error. That is human error. It's kind of a bummer. That is kind of a bummer. I will tell you that. Scrub point, no points. Yeah, no points are awarded because that was scrub. Because that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Still tied after one. No more human errors. I'm giving these discs a chance. I don't know why that happened, but yeah. Next hole, I'm gonna throw on some hyzer downhill, which will hopefully show something. Show about the glide. I honestly, after a couple throws, I don't know if I got a, I don't know what the deal is, but they're not the same. Like, 
These things are not the same discs. It's funny is I would bag both because they do that that much is different for me. They do two different things for me. So I'm kind of like, I wonder if there's a mid by MVP that does what this does. I'm not sure. I don't know MVP's lineup too much, too, too much. But anyways, it's out there. Comment down below if there's something out there that is actually like an MV1. All right, next one. A little wide. Yeah, a little wide. It's like 40. Yep. Dude, that flips up to flat. Yeah, those are very different. I know I threw one wide, and I think that's a point for the mind bender, but they're very different. The one wide didn't even like try. Hex didn't even try to flip up. No. And that mind bender tried. Yeah, it was trying. It's trying to flip up. Which is good. It's good things. Mind bender up one. Next hole is a full rip to get a mid range. Mid range there. Are you going left gap? Trying to flip them? No. I'm gonna go. To get the mind bender there, because I it's like flippier, I'm gonna go like a hyzer flip and hopefully hold straight through the right gap. And then this I'm just gonna throw hard flat and see what it does. So which one first? Mind bender first. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, A nice shot though thank you I, I can throw good shots it is possible i was gonna say when we walked up to this hole the hex just feels better for this hole very much very much in in the hand i'm like okay the hex is i know what it's gonna i think i know what it's gonna do the mind bender i'm like i would not throw a mind bender here <laughs> no the the ceiling is just it's too low to throw kind of straight at it and have it like glide to the ground yeah so. so the wide shot is better and it's hard to get a wide shot with a flippy disc. Yeah, I agree. I agree 100%. You are, you are also right. So us at Pop Top, we don't throw a ton of MVP type gyro technology discs very often. We have our Envies and we have our, what's another one? It might be a proxy maybe? <laughs> No, I mean, yeah, we have a couple of, a little bit of everything. Yeah, I just bought an uplink that I actually really love. So, that, like, I buy MVP. I just, I just, I just never, you know, no. But this Simon signing with MVP is actually really exciting, at least for me, just because it gives me a good excuse to throw MVP or to, to look into it more. Um, I've been watching Simon since I started in 2020. You know, when you, when you start, you look up on YouTube, you're like, hey, What's, what is disc golf? And then you look it up and you find the one guy doing all those crazy videos that he did in 2020 and on. And I was like, this guy is awesome because he's so stinking good. Um, and so I bought a ton of disc mania and I was a kind of a fanboy for a second, but I'm excited because now I don't have to be, right? <laughs> I mean, you've I'm grown kidding. into loving plastic you just want to try yeah, but every this, single disc yeah this is a good start and yeah uh you know i'm excited for the for the future for him and, and whoever i don't know i don't know if my bag's going to change too much but i might buy a i might buy a simon lazard envy i don't know you know <laughs> you might buy one that hex looks pretty cool that's coming out anyways do I think you should buy it just off of Simon? If you're like, I throw the mind bender, I throw the hex. No, not really. Throw what you love. Anyways, enough about that. Next hole. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to put it on some Annie and see how much they come out. We'll see, we'll see how that works. I'm not the best at throwing this shot, but I'm gonna try my best. Not wide enough. You're going I'm human not, error again? I'm not good at this shot. Oh, 
not high enough. Is that a human error too? Do we chalk up the scrub point again? Scrub point. <laughs> We're all tied. Mindbender two, hex two, scrub two. One more hole. Who's going to win? Comment down below. Probably the <laughs> scrub points. I'm going to screw up this next hole. All right, next hole. Down there to the right. This is the last hole. So whoever gets a close wins. And if I suck, I walk home. So we'll see. <laughs> I can do it. Oh, that's an awesome shot. Go in. Nah, it's really that's gonna be hard to beat though. It's pretty short. Yeah, I can beat it. They are not the same. They are just not the same disc. We're gonna have to measure those. Let's go walk and see who wins. They aren't the same. You're correct. They are not the same. But the fun thing about plastic is like you could buy a hex, you could buy five hexes and they're all gonna be different. You could buy five mind benders and they're all gonna be different. You think? Yeah, it's just how plastic works. It's like inconsistent. Yeah, it's annoying that way, but it's not like the most inconsistent disc. There's more out yeah, there. Yeah, there are way more inconsistent discs. I got about three race and they're all kind of different. And I'm like, that's, that's obvious. That's well, one like you bought annoying. in Pro, one you bought in Star. Yeah, different, ta different plastic types. But anyway, let's see. Where are we? The Mindbender wins. <laughs> that's awesome. So if you're a big fan of the Mindbender, we have a video for you where we do like a, like a Mindbender video right with all the different signature series that have come out and then if you're a fan of the hex we have we took a gyropalooza box and we tried to ace with it ace with the whole box and then we gave it away gave it the discs we ace giveaway is over but you could go check out the video it's really fun anyways we'll see you later ha oh that was terrible <laughs>